Now, the BJP has the reputation of being the most social media savvy big political party, and they are certainly pulling out all the stops in Karnataka, which goes to polls in 2018. The state goes to polls in less than a year, and the state unit of the party is working hard to reach out to voters in any way they can, including the all-pervasive tool of WhatsApp. Maya Sharma reports. It is the era of WhatsApp, and the BJP in Karnataka is hoping this branch of social media will help the party win Karnataka in 2018. The party's social media cell is forming 5,000 WhatsApp groups at the state, district and assembly level to target voters with messages that they hope will bring in the votes. We are creating uh, content in both the languages, the English and the Kannada also. Uh, we are also upcoming with uh, mm -hmm. an app called BSY app to reach out the message of Sri B.S. Edivirappa to every single voter. And the rival Congress currently ruling the state is keeping an eye on the venture. The basic request we have for the BJP, uh, for the sake of India, is please verify your facts, please don't spread fake news, please don't cause confusion and division between communities. We all have the ability to create groups in the tens of thousands, whatever it takes to reach every voter, every person with uh, WhatsApp. The WhatsApp initiative began six months ago, and around 2,000 groups are active now, with a minimum of three messages being sent every day. The Election Commission has curbed the use of posters and banners ahead of any election. But who needs them these days? With a mobile phone in every hand, WhatsApp can be used to get the message across. And with elections due next year, the BJP in Karnataka is hoping it has a head start in this area. With Alphonse Raj, Maya Sharma in Bengaluru for NDTV.